Casey Ravenna um, has been something that I've always wanted to do since I've started here at the Ravenna Chamber. Um, I very quickly found out, I've been here for two and a half years, and I very quickly found out that Ravenna has a lot of hidden little treasures in this town that a lot of people don't even know about. People that have been born and raised here that have not even been able to go to the um, establishments or even know about the businesses. So my thought was to try to get together um, a scavenger hunt um, through town where people can actually go into and are encouraged to go into the actual establishments and be able to see what they're about. Um, so we are going to have a taste of Ravenna, which is going to be um, tied together with a scavenger hunt through town on July 21st. Um, we do have it from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, all businesses are welcome to participate, even if you don't necessarily have a business right here in downtown. Let me know and I will find a location for you. I will accommodate that um, some way, shape, or form. So definitely we want to include all. Um, another thing is is that we're really just trying to give back to our businesses again because we do have so many of our businesses that are so unique and so um, just diverse. It, it's a great showing of what Ravenna is all about. Welcome to Positive Vibes. Um, the owners are Stacy Seacrest. She's over there doing hair and myself Kate Cunningham. I do the holistic side of things here and I offer um, a bunch of holistic services, Reiki, meditation, sound baths, healing circles, um, different certifications, and Stacy focuses on mostly organic, all natural hair care, uh, tries to focus on cruelty free. We also really support our community, so everything that we sell here was sourced within 25 miles of Ravenna. So uh, most of it's made by women who live in Ravenna or Manaway surrounding areas. If it is something that isn't handmade, then uh, it's sourced locally uh, within 25 miles. So any of the crystals and things that we get. Um, we also feature a hand-blown glass by Frost Glass in Manaway. Antique malls are becoming harder to find because a lot of them are going out of business because young people don't like old stuff. Okay. They'd rather buy disposable IKEA stuff and use it when they move, put it on the curb. You know? So a lot of young people don't recognize the value of old things. So we're special because we have a diehard group of old dealers here who realize how special the merchandise is. And we enjoy collecting it and selling it. Young people buy kitchenware that their mother or grandmother had, like mixing bowls, canisters, things that bring back memories. Of Take um, pieces of furniture, pieces of parts and pieces of anything, and try and give it new life. I hate to see anything go to the trash. I grew up in Ravenna, and I've done this since I was literally a kid. I grew up on Highland Street. I was a little kid that the reason our logo has the wagon is I used to run around Ravenna with my wagon and on trash day and then my mother would about kill me because I'd come up with all this junk and I would turn it into something. So that gives you an idea how long ago I've been doing this. I was a plumber for 35 years, retired from that, and this is just my passion. Uh, I think Stacy and I both, before we joined forces, uh, were both very passionate about community and in the businesses that we were before, love to be involved in community. So now that we're together, any opportunity we get to be a part of community, especially in our own hometown, uh, with all the exciting things that are happening with the movie theater and different restaurants and different businesses opening up, it's just a great way to meet people that live here and the people that do business here, people that run businesses here, and we love food, so that's also that event. Part. Now Ravenna Sub Movies is gonna be involved in the community, so we wanted to partake in the uh, taste of Ravenna. Um, our plan is to set up a booth and to offer samplings of our fresh popcorn and another feature that we'll offer is homemade kettle corn, which is unique to theaters. At that the time. new Mission Impossible will be opening on the 27th and then we'll have some pictures from earlier in the summer, um, Jurassic World, Incredibles, Ant-Man and Wasp, uh, but we'll have all of the current releases at the time. We're just getting our, our uh, presence known in the town and to let folks know that you know we want to be a part of the community and we want to sponsor and help with 
events in the community. Just to be involved in the community. I mean, to get everybody together. You know, all the stores just to help out. You know, build them up. I want people to come here.